Being a female in a group of guys is tough, especially when they're predominantly creepers. What's worse is that they usually have crappy jobs. In my case, I attract plumbers. Now look, a job is a job. You can't fault a man for that. I'm just not exactly into guys who have to handle pipes flowing with human waste all day. Yo! Oh, oh, sweet Jesus, mother of God! May I interest you in a conversation? No. What, me a plumber, you see? And I saw you jogging from way over there, and I thought to myself, here we go! You're a plumber. Bob, yes, me a plumber. Well, look at me hat, it says plumber. In masking tape. I'm on a budget. It still says plumber. You spelled plumber wrong. No, I spelled plumber right. Plumber. Then we get plumber. Do you smell like ass? Well, that's one of me and many a charms. <sighs> Playing hard to get, I see. Somehow, he got my number. You have one new message. Hello there. I was hoping to see you again. I was thinking we could eat some mushrooms. You know, they're very tasty and they can make you do all kinds of things you just never could before. I had a few just now. Oh, look at that. It's a turtle and a goomba. Oh, take that, you creatures. I jump on you. I jump on all of you. I jump, I jump, I jump, I jump. You should join me a tour, pretty princess. We can jump together. So I decided to set him up on a wild goose chase. I told him if he met me in the park, I would bake him a cake. I figured this could keep him occupied for a while. Hey, mister, have you seen a princess around here? Uh, no, I think she's in another park. You, you spoke to her. Did she have a cake with her by any chance? Uh, I'm not at liberty to say. Ah, where are you, princess? Oh, my God. Did I actually bake him a cake? Sure. I figured if I kept giving him cakes, he would eventually get obese and lose a foot from diabetes or something. But he does all that running and jumping around that he just burned off all the calories. My plan has been foiled. Hello! Hello, a princess! It's a princess! It's oh, a dear princess. God. <sighs> but it's a princess! <gasps> oh, my God! Me found you! Oh, yep, you found me! Yay! Me been through a seven of before me find you in here, the eighth of parks. And me finally find you and... Me clean toilets on the way. What are the odds? Uh, me was thinking that uh, we could uh, share some mushrooms. Okay, I'll drive and you run. Sounds like a good exercise. Um, could you drive to the Mushroom Kingdom? Uh huh. I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if this guy is for real or not. It's a good at being a plumber. I think it might be his over-reliance on hallucinogenic fungus growing from the ground, but he is determined. I can't avoid him. You have one new message. Hello there, it's a time to go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, what, what are you doing? Oh, pipe! Oh, the water, it's everywhere! We've got to evacuate! I can't contain it! The water, it's all over my foot! It's all over my face! It's everywhere! Go, oh, it's all brown! I think I'm just gonna try the killing him with cake method. You know, us Canadian goers, uh, we got it rough. Yeah, there's just so many of us, there's just not enough room to pros. So, uh, some of us come out here and play in the uh, Blades Wheels League. That's a good national anthem there, boys. Let's get some hockey going. Woo! Yeah. You know, there's a lot of weird rules in this league, too. Like, uh, goalies can only move laterally. Uh, but the good thing is, is that anybody that comes in my crease, now you just hit them. It's great!
Oh. Don't touch the goalie, you rookie. You know, the thing is, there's been a lot of budget cuts in the league, too. There's just uh, not many fans that used to be in the uh, 80s and the 90s. Come on, guys! Go Catch Canada! Up. I love bacon! Catch up. You know, the thing is, they even cut back on jersey costs, so we have to wear our own stuff. And we don't have a ref, either. That guy died in 89, and nobody felt like doing his job. I'm still trying to figure out this league, eh? You know, they took away a lot of the rules they used to have, like you had to stop your motion before you took a slap shot, but they kept a lot of the same ones like they had in the 80s. Like, for example, you know, you had to hit a guy three times before you could actually knock him off the puck. It's just one of those things where it's like, what are you doing, eh? Oh! Go back to our minor leagues, you know, that's interference. I don't even have the puck, eh? Son of a bitch, you burned me again! You know, we're not playing on ice anymore. We gotta make do. We've been playing on skates a lot lately. But when it rains, you know, you gotta switch to the feet, eh? Oh! <laughs> and the best part about this league is you hit a guy three times and then it's on. First of five hits wins, and the guy who loses is the one who gets the penalty. Oh! Yeah, that guy does roids. And during the second intermission, you know, we don't even go into the locker room to talk about the game. We just sit out on the bench and look up at the big screen and play Gradius. And that's the spirit, boys! Keep it up! We're gonna win us the championship this year, eh? You know, one thing that hasn't changed about this league is Lou. Lou is old as hell, he's from Iceland, and he only knows four phrases in English. And the best part about it is he's our play-by-play -play man. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hit the pass! Make the face off! You know, you still cry like a little girl every time you get scored on, shut eh, up, right? Just shut up, shut up, shut up. So, uh, what team do you guys uh, play for, eh? Oh, it's uh, Edmonton? No, it's got to be Minnesota. No, you idiot. It's definitely Canadian. It's Toronto. Well, if it's Canadian, it's definitely Los Angeles. No, 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 you moron. It's definitely Vancouver. Good. No, it's got Los Angeles, maybe? Angeles? You idiot. No, it's Montreal. All right, what are you talking about anyway? I just scored on you. We're on two different teams. Oh. <laughs> I'm a scientician assistant. What does that mean exactly? It means I research and filter ideas for the scientists I work for. His name? Dr. Albert W. Wiley, OBE PhD. But I just call him Crazy Uncle Al. Nepotism rocks when you need a job in the evil mad scientist field. However, Crazy Uncle Al doesn't have the highest success rate. The problem with your plans being foiled all the time is that your imagination well dries up a bit when it comes to designing. So it's my job to interview young scientists and get ideas for new robot masters and then basically we steal them. Now my office isn't much. It's basically just a garage. We need to keep a low profile to prevent our enemies and law enforcement from finding our location. So what have you got for us today? Okay, so you know how androids have a problem working in extreme high temperatures? They don't, but go on. Well say hello to the fiberglass insulation man. He uses the sheets of the wall insulation to up the room temperature, slowly overheating the circuitry of your foes as well as simultaneously reducing the cost of your home heating bills, yeah? Assuming that works, and it won't, at all, wouldn't upping the temperature just cause the robot master himself to overheat? Uh, I haven't thought of that. Uh, what if we uh, used asbestos, you know, going off of the health risk angle, and we could uh, call him asbestos man, yeah? We're fighting androids. There are no health risks. And besides, didn't Marvel already do Asbestos Man? Really? That's a stupid idea. I know. Next! Picture this, Mailman. He's exactly like Cut Man, except instead of scissors, he attacks you with his arsenal of envelopes to give you paper cuts. 
because you know those hurt more anyway. Also, he can order anything he wants online and get it in four to six business days. Unless Dr. Wiley wants to overnight it. You didn't even design a robot master. I don't know how to draw. Ooh, but I do have this reference photo of Herb, the mailman. He's nearing retirement. I smell that gasoline in here. That's the lawnmower. Next! Introducing Invisoman. It's blank. Precisely. Your enemies will never know what hit them. You can't defend against what you can't see. What's more fearful than what you can't see? You're a con artist, aren't you? No. Why would you say that? Because you brought a blank board claiming to have invented an invisible robot master without one mention of a cloaking device. What's a cloaking device? My point exactly. Worth a shot. I once sold an air guitar on eBay, box included. Get out. Really, I did. No, I mean get out of the office. It's a garage. Just leave. Remember Fireman? This guy's just as good. Smoldering irons for hands, irons for feet, and his head is an iron too, because, you know, because why not? Well, let me guess. His name is Iron. One hour dry cleaning man. Why didn't you just name him Iron? Because, due to the strongly worded cease and desist, my preferred name was not available. Even though this concept represents iron so much better than the other one. So your idea is to iron out our enemies? Well, the starch may inadvertently short out their circuits, and he will clean and press your clothes in one hour or your money back. Why not, let's say, attack him with all the irons and, you know, burn him? Well, because he, <clears throat> um, he obeys Asimov's three laws of robotics. You built a robot master for the purpose of being evil and programmed it to refrain from being evil? We need robot masters who can attack, be evil, as well as occasionally perform household chores and genuine services. I failed out of evil engineering school. Apparently. Beware of Vibraman! This evil robot creates supersonic vibrations. His lair is a rocky mountainside. As your enemies make their way in, he will cause the supersonic vibrations, crumbling the rocks from the cave-dwelling ceiling and crushing your enemies! Now we're talking. How does he do that? Well, he uses his 12-inch gold semi-conical rod and inserts it into the ground spot. We're calling it the Diametric Infrasonic Loom Destabilization Oscillator. It has three settings. So he, um... Yes, though it may take a while to find the ground spot that will cause the eruption while penetrating. When the task is complete, the energy pack will secrete a white lubricant, preventing rub damage. Can we please find a different way to describe it? I'm being as direct with you as possible. And this method works? I've tried it out many times on myself. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking anything! There are technical enhancements that have been made. For instance, the oscillator can be ribbed to help in stimulating the reaction. I uh, don't know what to say. Some interesting candidates today. Usually I take the concepts and present them to Dr. Wiley, but I still have some follow-up research to do. You ready to test the prototype of Vibroman? Yeah, be right there. Okay, so this job doesn't entirely suck. I'm stuck. I can't leave. I can't go anywhere. It frightens me. This area, you see, is where I'm stuck. I cannot leave this screen, and there's no way of getting around it that I can think of. I've been stuck here for quite some time. I can't get out. I mean, I've had issues before, but nothing like this. Firstly, it all started with these long delays when moving from one area to another. Hell? I can't really explain it. You really have to see it to believe it. Or look at it in a bizarre third person point of view. Yeah, kind of like that. Next, it really started to mess with me. First, everything seemed normal. The universe was moving with me correctly. I went to take in the beauty of nature. It was then I realized that I left my wallet. So I went back to retrace my steps, but I was forbidden from backtracking. Ah! <laughs>
you know, I still have a huge welt on the side of my body and I can't leave to get ointment or a massage. And I also realized that I had a friend with me that I lost while I was walking. I haven't seen him since. I put up these flyers to try and find them, but it's no use. Then things really started to get surreal. All of a sudden, the screen started scrolling by itself. Why are you doing this to me? And now it brings me to here. I was trying to explain it to my friends to see if they'd believe me. Jobo Cop, if you interrupted me from eating a cheeseburger for nothing, I'm gonna smack you in the face with a tire iron. I'm telling you both, it's been happening. Now look, everything's gonna move to the right now. You'll see. You still got that tire iron, right? Don't I always? Wait a minute. It's something different every time. Maybe if I walk to the right, then everything will move right. You both better come with me. I don't want to lose you in the vortex like Kev. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, me too. Fine. Don't blame me when you're eaten by the vortex doom. Oh my god! We'll call Aaron and Ricky from Retro Liberty. They'll know what to do with their cheat codes and whatever they have. Hey man, what's up? Aaron, we got a problem here, man! What kind of problem are you having? What the hell is going on? Oh my god! <laughs> and now that brings me to here. I'm still waiting for some kind of rescue, some kind of escape. Maybe I'll call Gamester81. He'll know what to do. Eh, whatever. No. No, I don't acknowledge you until you acknowledge me. Oh my god, that's all. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's all I needed. You're welcome, BT Dubs. All right, ladies, if you could please move. Mr. Belmont's a very busy man. I'm pretty sure I'm a guy. What you doing, Half Sparkles? I'm getting things going so you can train for your battle. I am the last descendant of the Belmonts. I needs my groupies. You take away my groupies, you take away my ego. You take away my ego, all I have left is this incredibly hot shell of a body that has vanquished all evil it is. I think one of them just fainted. Yeah, they do that. So, ever since my luau was rudely interrupted by Miss Needy Pants and Jack Sparrow's albino twin. We're right here, you know. <laughs> sure you are. I've been prepping my body for an epic battle against some trust fund Brooklynite. Have you seen that guy's hat? What is with the hat? Haircuts over hats, dude, every time. But, you know, in order to keep my eye on the ball, I enlisted the help of this incredibly hot trainer. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's new. Indeed. All right, come on, let's go, let's go! Jack Ross, hook! Jack Ross, hook! Go! Roundhouse, finish it! Keep your hands up! Oh. Defend yourself! Okay. Nice. Chest bump. Oh. She wants me. So. So. Here you have a thing for vampires. Had. You see, I'm kind of a uh, vampire myself. Okay. But I don't sparkle because I'm immune to the sunlight. Yippee for you. Yeah, I'm half human. Half vampire, but the human side of me works, and I mean, really works. 
And I can shapeshift too. You like bats? This conversation's boring. I secretly love you. Oh, yeah! Look, Belmont, let's go! What the hell are these things? They move on a pattern, Belmont. Learn the pattern. Duck, dodge, and win! Fine, they don't even attack. They just keep coming in the wave length pattern and... This is on flat ground, Belmont. What are you gonna do when you have to jump over rivers? Craig Belmont don't do water, and I'm pretty sure that Brooklynite don't do it either. Shouldn't I be training him? <laughs> Excuse me? Is there a cat fight ensuing? Because that would be awesome. I know vampires better than you. I have been with vampires. Yeah, is there a pamphlet, app, or Wikipedia page on that? Because I've been wondering how that works. I've been training people to be badass since you were in a training bra. So why don't you go hang out with Mr. Pirate Vamp over there and let me do my job. Do you want some of this? Bring it, biatch! <laughs> oh, you should use this. So insanely hot. I'm gonna snap her. Yeah. I'm taller than you! Come on! What else you got? You know, this whole training thing is completely ridiculous. Like, Greg Belmont, don't need to bulk up. Greg Belmont got this. And yes, speaking in the third person is badass. He just mentioned you on Twitter. Hmm. Oh, it's on. Hey, come back, that's my phone. You know, I have a phone you can borrow. And I can put it on vibrate for you. Go with the tire, Belmont, let's go. Jump through, follow me, let's go. Toss them, come on. Yeah. Oh. Really? Do it, Belmont. This seems like an impractical waste of glass and water. Stop complaining. Hashtag suck it. <laughs> oh, hey, Phil, I didn't see you there. So I work with Jobo Cop. Me, I travel to work by car, like most sane people. Sometimes if I want to save on the carbon footprint, I'll even take a bus or a train. Usually it's the most conventional mode of transportation. Not Jobo Cop though. He travels by some teleporting beam thingy. Ah. Oh my god, what the hell? You like? No, I'm terrified. It's pretty cool, huh? Now I can travel by beam teleport. What, how do you even? Beats me, but it's really fast, and I'm pretty sure it's awesome for the environment. <sighs> after a couple of days, I got used to it, but soon after, he started missing his targets, landing inside the building. <laughs> oh, hey, when they put the skylight. <sighs> It'd be nice if his magical teleporting could work all the time. It would have came in real handy when we decided to take a break outside to play wiffle ball with a friend. Mm.
There it is. <sighs> Damn it, why did you do that? Sorry. Jobocomp, can you just teleport up there or something? I can't. I can only do it at the beginning and the end of the day. But I have these lemons, though. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, because dematerializing and flying through space as a pointy stick is totally rational. We could always use the blocks. No way, I am not going up there. Why not? Because it's high and unstable and I can fall and hurt myself. Don't worry, you're not really that important to the episode. Uh, fine. Where did those come from? Beats me. Even I think that's pretty weird. Hey, I think I'm gonna fall. You'll be fine. Oh my. What's next? Uh, shoot you for it? Yeah, rock! Yeah. yeah, so it's a good thing it went with rock, clearly overpowering Diana's scissors. She should know better than to mess with the master. I hate you so much. See you tomorrow. So I got a girlfriend, you know, she's nice and all, but my God, is she helpless. For instance, I'm just working on the carburetor, you know, I bend down to take out the spark plugs, I look back, and some generic thugs have just taken her away. You like it when the bolts move, don't you? Yeah, just like that, that one's good. It's all about the torque on the bolt, you know. Again? Are oh, you kidding me or what? You know what? I'm gonna finish this bolt, and then we're gonna go beat some ass. And this is not a random freak occurrence. I'm not exaggerating either. I can't take this girl anyways. And I'm talking a grocery store. All right, hang on, babe. Lunchables are two for one. Get me some almond milk. Nah. Hey, wait a minute. I thought your thing was rice milk. Ah, oh, poop. The post office. Ah! Even the Wawa, not a common place for street thugs to congregate, mind you. But still, they show up and they snatch her. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm not in front of the car. Savvy. But it's ridiculous. You know, I can't stand it. Is it too much to ask to have a girl just stand silently by my side, huh? I, but I like this girl. So of course I'm gonna go fight for her. I just, I can't do it alone. I bring my brother into it. Hey, how you doing? I'm playing too. Let's go, Bimmy! Bimmy, what? Bro, it's Billy! Hey, that's not what it says in the translation, Translation, bro. my ass. Check out that state ID, huh? License in your face. <laughs> Look again, bro. What the? Son of a- Well, we're in this together. Alone, I am one. But together, we are double! Uh, so what do you think? We should go do this now or what? I mean, I'm waiting on you. You usually go first. Hey, yeah, well, you're player one. I, my job is just to follow you around. Yeah, you, you always, like, run off first, like, hyper, and I'm like, what is the city doing, and I'll follow you. All right, I'll tell you, you want to go get a hoagie or something? I mean, yeah, they took it from the Wawa. Let's go, brother. Let's do that. Oh, whoa, there's so many of them. Well, got an idea, bro. Hook me up. What are you doing, bro? Leveling up, bro. I like it. Now, did we cheat? Well, I mean, if you're gonna call taking advantage of something outside the normal rules and regulations to gain the significant upper hand over your opponent cheating, then, uh, yeah, I guess we was cheating. Oh, it's totally cheating. 
But it works. Doing a great job back there, Bimmy. It's Billy! <laughs> That's how it's done. Well, what are you waiting for? Wait, what, are you what are you talking about? Fight for my hand. No, 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 no. That's bull crap. Oh, bring it on, bitch. No, no, no. You want me to fight my brother for your hand? Damn straight. Oh, what? See you. All right, all right. Screw it. You can have her. Fine. That's just more ass for Jimmy then, huh? Oh, hey, Marion. 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 Oh, poop. I'm a busy guy. Things to do, places to go. Over time, I've accumulated quite an inventory of items over my random meanderings. The problem is, carrying all that stuff around. <sighs> Son of a... Storage cabinets, closets, sheds, they're all for wimps. Real man carries his inventory all at once. So, I needed a solution, and I needed it fast. That's when I came across this pouch. Boom! Who's next? Now, it makes zero sense and defies all logic, but it works. You may be wondering how the weight is evenly distributed. Science. The only downside is I'm temporarily blinded every time I have to get something out of my inventory. Thanks for the ride. Hey, no problem, man. Although it's bright out. Definitely get my sunglasses on. What about the driving part? Let me get my sunglasses. No, no, okay. Hold on, just, we should, this just, is getting just intense. Relax. Just relax, dude, it's okay. But you're not even looking at the road. It's okay, I, I've done this a lot. Watch out! I don't uh, wanna we're die. Good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's okay, it's all right. Can you stop at the store for pants? Yeah, we can, we can make a uh, unplanned detour. Pants, thank you. Pants? Yes. What about underwear? Yes, that too. Okay, we can do that, we can do that. They should have that at the local pants store. I'm fairly good at it. But all my friends seem to get up in arms. I've pretty much mastered the art of not being able to see. There's really only one instance where it becomes a problem. Hey babe, how you feeling? Feeling great. Yeah. Oh man. What? Well, this stinks. Are you kidding me right now? Start. Is that what I mean to you? Come on. Finally. No, 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 no. I, I just. Uh. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.